Welcome back, fellow wet shavers. This is Joe Borelli from the Wet Shaving News Podcast with another short video on straight razor maintenance. So today we're going to go over how to properly oil and remove oil from your blade for long-term or short-term storage. Now guys, many of you have had a carbon steel straight razor just like this one and have noticed that if you leave it out in the open or in the bathroom or anywhere else where there's moisture, you might get those pesky black spots on the blade or on the handle or on the or, or anywhere on the on the um, straight razor itself. Now what we're going to do is we're going to avoid that with a simple safe method so you don't have to worry about cutting your fingers. Now a lot of guys will take a q-tip and they'll dump it in oil and they'll wipe it on the blade here. Yeah that works but I'm not really a fan of that because I feel that you can either scuff the blade or or something and it just it just doesn't work if the q-tip hits the blade you could ruin your blade you could ruin your q-tip it's just not a very effective way of doing it so what I have I've done is I've been I devised a method that I've been doing for a couple of years that seems to work very well and I haven't had any problems so I'm gonna go over it with you today so all you need is a lint-free cloth which you can get at the dollar store you can get anywhere any grocery store dollar store. I got this one at the dollar store and a little spray bottle, which again, I got the spray bottle at the dollar store, and a mixture of oil. And the mixture of oil that I use is, is mineral oil, olive oil, and a little castor oil. Now, it's more like a pre-shave oil, I would say. It could probably work as a pre-shave oil, but I find that this mixture of oil really works with, with uh, evenly coating it and works just on how I don't have to worry about it slipping off or anything like that. The, the oil stays on the blade. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I do it. I'll move this out of the way. And I take the spray bottle. I just simply open up the blade like this and just spray. One, two. Now I did a couple extra sprays than what I usually do for uh, you know educational purposes so you guys can see. And it evenly coats the blade without me even touching it. So therefore, you don't have to worry about cutting your fingers by taking a little dab of oil and putting it on there. You don't have to worry about the Q-tip accidentally hitting the blade. Simply just go like this. One, two. One, two. That's it. That's all you need. And now again, I over-oiled this razor just for the video, but I would only do two sprays of each side, and that would be it. Then you would close the blade up and be done. Now as you can see, I have oil all over me, but that's because I used too much. So then what we do is you take the, when you want to shave with the razor, take a look at it like this. You're going to open up the blade as usual, and you take your lint-free cloth and just simply, just like so, that's it. Just wipe it clean. Wipe it clean real quick here. Wipe the handle just in case you got some overflow on there. Wipe the handle in there. You know, again, I used a lot of oil just now, just for uh, the video purpose, and it's all over my blade. It wouldn't be that bad for you if you try it. All right, and the lint, and the reason why I use the lint-free cloth is because I don't want lint on my blade, and I also don't want like microscopic fibers or anything like that on the actual bevel of the blade. I think that could have, I mean, I don't know if it's going to affect the shave edge. But I just do this anyway. It's easier. I don't have to look at little fuzzies or anything like that on the blade. So that's it, guys. That's all there is to it. You know, if you just have any questions, feel free to contact me. My email address is joe.wetshavingnews at gmail.com. Or you can t- take a look at my, uh, excuse me, my, um, blog site at shavestraight.wordpress.com. Hey guys, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and as always, shave straight and shave straight and shave safe. Thanks.